How many of you actually took this trade on June the 7th, Friday? Okay. Uh, so what I want to show you here is I took this trade and I'm going to show you in a video clip on the trade that I actually I took. So continue paying attention to the video and um, you'll see the trade that I took. But it was a short entry right here. And I'm sure most of you that have been following the channel already know the reason probably why I took this trade. I mean, simply put, what was this area right here? It was a supply zone. OK, um, for those that understand how to trade supply and demand in the style of how I trade it, uh, leave a comment down below. What did you see here as one of the biggest reasons why I took this trade or maybe you took that trade? Now, this is off of a higher base chart, the 120, but I talk about marking zones up off of a higher base chart and then moving down to a lower base chart to get into a more precise entry point. The strategy and how I trade, which I talk about so much across this channel. Um, along as long, you know, along with pushing the concept of market structure um, and how important it is to understand market structure. Again, I talk about through many, many on many, many videos here on the channel. So uh, this was a supply area on a 120 range chart that was tapped into. Now, if I move down to my uh, say 60 range chart, you'll see here when the market pulled back here, uh, it didn't really tap into or uh, any specific key area of supply. Uh, meaning you know to fill in a gap it did fill in some of these uh fair value gaps back to the upside here but it didn't tap into a zone uh where supply rests at on the 60 range chart but again it did happen on the 120. so of course if you think in terms 60 is powerful okay but if i move up to a higher base chart and it taps into a zone you got to think about if it rejects that area how powerful that move is going to be back to you know even to the downside here but one thing for sure we always have to pay attention to is what structure of the market. So when the market was moving higher here over the last few days, the fourth into the fifth, you know, leading up to the sixth where we kind of moved sideways. And a lot of you probably got tripped up there not understanding what was going on. We were still bullish on the higher base chart, even though on the 60s, say for example, or on a lower base chart, it looks like we were breaking structure. Yes, but you have to think also whatever you're looking at on a higher base chart. All right. And it is. Moving to the upside and it's bullish, but a lower base chart is not in confluence or moving uh, or is breaking structure to the downside on a lower base chart. Then the two charts aren't paired up or sync. Then you have to think in terms which makes more sense as far as direction wise. It's trade. Follow the higher base chart. For me, it's 120 range chart. So if I move down to my 60 range chart, then I can see clearly that, yeah, it looks like we're breaking some structure to the downside. But the overall higher base, higher base, highest base chart, the 120, is showing me we're still bullish. So, you know, the market was aiming to break these tops up here, but we were getting close to uh, when that action happened yesterday at 8.30, or not say yesterday, well, it was June the 7th, which was yesterday for me, uh, uh, even though you guys are watching this video into the next week, because what I'm, I'm dropping a series of videos because I'm stepping away from the, uh, the charts, the markets, or the markets for, you know, a little bit of time, I take some time off for a week. So I'm still providing you video content because I don't want to stop showing and talking to you guys about uh, the strategy and the importance of market structure as well, but and showing you some, you know, real time or well, not real time, but some trades that I took in real time last the, the prior week. Um, uh, so as you can understand the reason why I took these trade setups. But yes, we had non uh, non farm payrolls payrolls on uh, June the seventh, which pushes market higher, and then it did some crazy stuff to where it went up there, ran the tops, boom, blasted the downside, right? But in doing so, all this was that movement and that craziness from the uh, non-farm payrolls on June 7th. It pushed down, came back, and it pulled back to this key area of supply here on the 120. So this is on the 120 where you see the break above, non-farm payrolls, economic news event, uh, flushes to the downside, pulls back to where? This area of structure. Uh, I mean, um, supply area. Now, what it did when it pushed lower, it did break structure here. So ultimately on the higher higher uh higher base chart, highest base chart the 120 and when it did so then you can flip from looking for them from uh buys to sales right but you gotta pay attention to this was at the high resting up here this was a leg to the downside it pulls back on the pullback we did break a bit of structure back to the upside here and so it broke above here and then it also broke structure or money area structure when it broke right uh, above here at 19,040 uh say 47 there so the market went up there it tapped into that area of supply on the on the 60 i mean excuse me on the 120 so all i did was move down to my um 24 while well, i moved down to the 60 didn't see where we were tapping into a supply area there i moved down to the 24 range chart 
and I didn't see where we were tapping. Um, let me see. Yeah, we were tapping into a supply area there. But what I did was I waited for the market, even though we tapped into the higher, uh, the 120 range chart, it tapped into a supply area there. I knew that if it rejected there, then it was probably going to push lower. And I'm looking to see on the 120, the higher base chart, where could it actually come back to? Well, fill these uh, gaps right here back to the downside. Okay, there's a, a gap resting right here as well as a small gap. Um, let's see here, resting right here as well. Sm two small little gaps there. So, you know, it, at least come back down here to around the 19,047 or 48 area. All right. So when I move down to my six, excuse me, to my 24 range chart, as you can see here, I got this arrow line marked here. All I did was wait for the market to kind of change direction off the rejection of the 120 supply zone there. And then I saw where it was pushing down, making these lower, um, lower highs and lower lows to the downside. So I just waited for an opportunity to take a trade once I saw that it, you know, kind of broke through some area of structure, like right here, it broke below this 19,081 area, right? So if it broke there, you know, I don't like to chase the market, but my entry point was was right here because uh, around, I think 88, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I did, po no, I didn't post this trade over on the Discord because I wanted to share this with you guys and talk about it uh, in a video. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you in the video clip that you'll see here the trade that I actually took uh, and uh, talk, well, You'll see it here shortly, so we'll um, discuss that as well uh, in the video clip. But anyways, we were running lower, making lower lows and lower highs, breaking, you know, um, having structural breaks to the downside at an area of a higher base zone on the 120. So that's why I went short and noticed that we were rejecting that area, making these small little lows, lower lows and lower highs. I went ahead and got into the trade off the 24 range chart. So you're going to watch the video clip now and see the trade that I actually took. So I got in at 19,101 and a half. My uh, TP was down here at 19,073 and a half. I'm looking at the 120, uh, which was that supply area. My stop is resting up there at 19,011 and a half. And uh, we'll wait for the market to continue pushing lower, which is it, it is because it's projecting off of the higher base chart, which I marked up. And it's going to come down here. And I forget what this was. I think this was like a 20 point move to the downside here. Um, on the uh, 120 and I can't 100% remember if I closed out took out slightly early I did I got out yeah it was 20 point move right there so I got at 20 points and a quarter to the downside right there so the key in taking trades like this is for one understanding market structure on a higher base chart and this moving down through your series of lower base charts you know this is just using you know having confluence across charts uh, and I always say that if you, whatever direction the market is moving on a higher base chart, follow in the direction of that and try to look for trade opportunities in the direction of your higher base chart. Yes, counter trend trading works, meaning that if the higher base chart is moving in one direction and you see, say, a lower base chart, you know, breaking structure lower, uh, you may say, can I look for, take for it, look, take, take a short, uh, going short, even though the higher base chart is trending in the upper direction. Yes, you can, but you always got to think in mind and be mindful uh, that those type of trades will be possibly more so um, short or not, you know, just kind of short based trades. Uh, because you are trading against the grain. It's counter trend trading. The best trades work out, the higher probability trades work out when you are taking trades in the direction um, with the higher base chart where everything is synced up. You know, your 120, your 60, your 24, all those charts, even the 12 range chart is all moving in a line and you're taking trades in the same um, order or the same direction as uh, all charts. So if you got two, three, four charts lining up and you're looking for a setup back to either a demand or supply area and uh, the market is moving in that same direction what you're looking to trade then more likely the trade is going to work out in your favor but you got to be mindful uh, looking below you to see okay are there any possibilities of where the market may want to run lower or higher based on gaps in the market uh, because just because it, it may tap into a beautiful high probability setup of supply and demand and you got gas below or above, it may want to test one of those uh, lower areas or higher areas. So just always keep that in the back of your mind as well. But again, I just want to share this, this trade with you and talk about it. This is a freebie I'm giving in, you know, to you guys uh, within here on the public side. Normally, I'll make these type of videos and position them in my or place them over and make them lock them private to the elite members, those that really support the channel in a sense of um, 
and want to become an elite member uh, what you can do so i mean there's these type of videos just like this where i go into detail about the trades and the reason and why i took the trade setup talking you through stop loss placement and, and um profit target and things like that um i have tons of those videos already series up and posted over on the private community for those that are elite members if you're interested in becoming an elite member just scroll down to the latter part of the video down in the description you'll see a link that says become a um elite channel supporter or elite channel member click on that two tiers will pop up you'll see one that says six dollars and 99 cent yes that's a month it's not 699 dollars it's six dollars and 99 cent and you'll be able to gain access to all the trade breakdown uh videos just like this where i go into great detail about trade setups that i do take so if you're watching this video here on the public side of the channel this is a public video and this is a freebie so you may want to kind of rerun and watch this uh, video here or if you took this, tra this trace the same tr uh, trade setup on the june the 7th you know friday then you got into a great setup a great trade but again be mindful too because below we have this area um of uh demand resting right here and you can see the market came down here and it broke right below the demand area here off the 120 and this is just a liquidity grab so it, it, it grabbed the area of liquidity and ran back to the upside and broke the highs up here why okay so because we were breaking structure lower but then we started breaking structure back to the upside all right so you have to understand that um overall you know if you say what direction we, we we're moving in well the market did break structure lower but if it's starting to break structure back to the upside you gotta be mindful too that okay it's a two-fold situation here to where it could yes project the supply zone but it can reject demand right below or grab any area of liquidity and take off back to the upside and that's what it did so and right you know uh, this is at the close of friday june the 7th and after that i really didn't see any other great setups that kind of moved sideways but after this trade right here i was pretty much done because it was non-farm payrolls and you know the market could do some crazy stuff and i talked about that i think the uh, uh, prior video um in the week about trading during during the week of any major major news event okay but outside of that i appreciate everyone that tunes in and continues watching the videos on the daily basis thank you for supporting uh, my efforts as a content creator especially for those who are also private who are uh, elite channel members thank you for supporting my uh, efforts as a content creator and if you're not a current subscriber please take the time to go ahead and sub by clicking on the subscribe button make sure to click that bell okay to turn on all your post notifications so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel both the discord link which is free is down in the description and if you're interested in becoming an elite member that link is right below the discord link and last but not least if you found some value in video content like this that i provide today and going through a trade setup and talking about my reason and why please drop a like on the video take care